Good morning, guys. Today is a big day. We're spending the entire day here in paradise. We have the executive lanai booked. So we're super excited to try that out. And then we're also gonna have dinner at Makahiki tonight. All right, we'll see you guys down by the pool. Bye. All right, we're all checked into our executive lanai. There's a sign with our name on it. And then, so here is our space. It's right in front of the Ama Ama restaurant. They're doing some construction back there. They did give us the heads up um, about the noise and we don't mind at all. So here we have a bunch of towels, bottled waters, two casabellas to enjoy, and then we have two loungers. So we also get a lock box, and this is how much space you get in it. And then down below is where the trash can is, and then also um, you do get a Bluetooth speaker so you can listen to your music. I love that we have this nice big rug that says Olani and then this little seating area here. So it's a lot of space for just the two of us, but we're gonna enjoy every minute of it. We have it until 6 p.m. today. And if you are a DVC member, you do get a little bit of a discount. So here's my beach bag. This is from the Stony Clover Lane Target collaboration. Then I got this hat from Tart and Bean. And then I got this here at Omani. And then inside, we've got our other GoPro with the float attachment already on there. And then we've got sunscreen, of course, water shoes, beach towels. I guess we didn't really need to bring this because they provided us with a bunch of towels. Sunglasses. I've got my water pouch. And then a little pouch that has some essentials in it, like chapstick, um, hand sanitizer, and lotion. I would like to know, what do you pack in your beach bag? So Sean woke up early and got us some coffee from Island Vintage Coffee. He got my Island Latte. It's like my new favorite coffee ever. And then he also went to the ABC market and got us some food. So here is the corned beef, ultimate breakfast. And then we've got drinks. Thanks, babe. So we just got done eating our breakfast. Um, the closest restrooms here is at Ama Ama, which is right behind us. And Sean's taking a little siesta. <laughs> but check out our view, you guys. I'm so happy. All right, we're gonna go head to the river now. Lazy river. The lazy river. Be
we just got out of the pool and now we're just gonna relax right now it's about 11.05 and I think the host is gonna come here and take our order from the pool menu in a little bit for lunch so here's the pool menu let's see There's beers, which we probably, and wine, we probably won't have. So we're here in the exact middle of the night and we have Kayoni here. Aloha! That's gonna take care of yeah. us. <laughs> we're so excited to have them here. I can't wait for the day to start. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So for lunch, we're gonna eat ahi poke nachos and then onion rings. And then we both got non-alcoholic drinks so sean got the strawberry guava island cooler and then i ordered the pineapple ginger splash so here are our drinks so this is the pineapple ginger splash and then sean got the strawberry guava island cooler cheers babe cheers here are the onion rings and then here are the nachos. Ooh, so pretty. It looks so tasty. It might be a rival to the lobster nachos at um, Lamplight Lounge that we had earlier. So we ate our lunch and then we took a little nap and now we're gonna go down to the beach. Time to head to the pool. Our pool. Time to head to the beach. So we reapplied sunscreen and I think we're gonna have to buy another bottle while we're still here in Hawaii because I really like it. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it, I think it's called Hawaiian brand. Actually, I'll post a little picture right here so you can see what it looks like. But I like it because it's non-greasy and we also bought the um, SPF 50. I love our lanai so much. It's such a nice place to get away from the crowd. So here's the view of Alani from the lagoon. Over there is where Four Seasons is. And if you haven't seen The Wrong Missy yet, you need to watch it. <laughs> it is so funny. And then... This is what the weather looks like. It's perfect. It's not, not too hot and it's not too cold. Just it feels so good to be back here after not being here for over two years. I think it's been two and a half years actually because we came at the very end of 2019. We were supposed to be back here in 2020, but then you know what happened. And then, yeah. It feels just like home. It is home. <laughs> yep, it is home. Oh my god, the water, the lagoon is such a beautiful blue color. I'm trying not to get the GoPro in the water because when we do that, the mic is all jacked up for a couple hours until it dries out. Are you having fun, baby? Lots of fun here. Do you think the executive lanai is worth it? Yes. The next time we come here, we want to get the executive lanai again and also try a cabana and see how the two compare. The cabana costs a little bit more, but you have a refrigerator, you have a TV, 
um, and there's more cabanas than there are executive lanai's. There's only one of those. Um, and I'm really glad that I called super early to reserve it. So I called right when we were done reserving our um, DVC stay. All right, so it's about 3 p.m. and we decided to order more food. So we have the ultimate dog. It looks pretty loaded and we're here until 6 p.m. Ooh, here is my passion colada. It looks so good. Cheers. All right, so right now it's about 4.30. We still have this beautiful oasis until 6 p.m. But I'm gonna go up and freshen up for our dinner at Makahiki. And once I'm done freshening up, I'm just gonna lounge and enjoy the rest of our time here. I totally miscalculated the time and I decided to just relax in the room because we had too much sun today. I felt really tired, so I just rested after I freshened up, and I felt good now. We're getting ready for dinner, but before that, picture time. Sunset. We're here at Makiniki. So right now they're not doing buffet still, but what they do have is a three-course meal for dinner. So you have starters, entree, and then dessert. And then for adults, it's $68, and for kids, it is $28. All right, so the drinks that we had earlier today were so good that we decided to order them for our dinner. Um, so if you're looking for some yummy non-alcoholic drinks, I totally recommend the Passion Colada. And then Sean got the strawberry lava cooler. Cheers, babe. Cheers. So here is our starter. So I have the caprice salad and then Sean has the Caesar. Yum, yum, yum. Sean and I both got the ribeye steaks, but I ordered mine with the chimichurri sauce. And then Sean ordered his with the barbecue sauce. And we like our steak medium rare. It looks delicious. We're gonna go ahead and dig in now. See you guys in a little bit. It's dessert time, so I have a pineapple cobbler, and Sean has the toffee brownie. Toffee. Toffee brownie. All right, you guys, we are back in our hotel room. I did a little bit of shopping. All I bought myself was a keychain and then picked up some ornaments for a girlfriend. I really, really, really miss the buffet. Like the buffet was a much better value. Our dinner was 68 per person and I thought it was just too much money for um, the food that we actually got. So yeah, I felt like it was probably worth more of like a $48 meal. What do you think, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Is 48 too high? I don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, tomorrow is another special day. We are going to go to the Lana White Spa and I'm so excited. It is like heaven on earth. So we're gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you again for following along our Hawaii vacation and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Love you, baby. Love you.